If you've had kids in elementary school recently, you know how math is taught differently than it was when most of us were kids. Well, now Pennsylvania is changing the science standards for teaching. I found out what's new and what parents need to know for today's Kidsburg. Eggs couched in kid made cars are flying down this steep slope. Thankfully, the eggs are plastic for the practice runs. It's the new way of teaching science. More experiments, trial and error, discussion, problem solving, and collaboration with other students. I like it because like it's more hands-on approach. You know, like you're doing more stuff with your hands and like you're learning it in a different way, which is better. I think it's like a better way to do it because you get to like experiment more when you do it and you get to like test out with different materials. Teacher Michelle Hurst is already implementing the new standards in her sixth grade science class at Hampton Middle School. She's gone through the training these teachers are getting from the Allegheny Intermediate Unit. The AIU is training teachers from all over Allegheny County over several years and wants them to gradually introduce the new science standards in the classroom so it's fully integrated by the 2025-26 school year. A lot of kids come to school with a natural curiosity and then that kind of wanes over time. We're hoping that these shifts are going to sustain that engagement and interest in science, technology engineering and environmental literacy as we move forward. AIU science coordinator Dr. Corinne Marco Morawski says the new standards involve more natural phenomena that happen in the real world and they teach students to come up with their own ideas instead of just memorizing facts. They're acting as the scientists. They're investigating, they're problem solving, and that's a really important skill. We want them to carry on and have curiosity about, you know, in their time after school. We were trying to put it like more like back there. Equity is another tenant of the new science standards, encouraging all students to be part of the discussion. It's a very daunting thing to share ideas, to have to listen to people that don't really have the same thoughts as you. So I think parents can just really help kind of support that culture that everyone is learning to be respectful. We feel like the more diversity and the more different voices that are at the table, the better we'll be at trying to uncover and discover new science. The hope is that the new science standards will get kids so excited about science they'll want to pursue it as as a career or a lifelong passion and then pass that excitement on to their own children. Before it was like not as effective with me. I just listen and it wasn't like as great. I actually get to do the process and think about it in a different way than just sitting and listening. Now, the AIU says Pennsylvania science standards haven't been updated in 20 years, and most states around the country have already shifted to this model of teaching. The new standards went through a rigorous process for approval from parents, community groups, science professionals, and educators. And to learn more about how you can help your kids with their education, kidsburg.org has many resources, including things you can do this summer. And we've got a link for you at kdka.com kidsburg.